New tonight, a dozen neighbors in Winter Haven are furious after they say they caught a 44-year-old man molesting a 3-year-old girl. They told Allison Morrow they watched it happen through a window and then called 911. And Allison, police say the girl's mother was home at the time this happened? Yes, and the Winter Haven police chief tells me she told this man to stop and then just walked away. She claims he was a friend of hers who visited once a week and she didn't know her child was in danger, but her neighbors say it was pretty obvious to everyone else. She's like, call the police. But Robin Buonadano says she froze, so she called her friends. Then he'd lean forward and kiss her like a man with a woman. A dozen neighbors watched through this window. And everything was open like it is now. Unsure at first if what they saw was a game or 44-year-old Silvino Rebelar Vera molesting a 3-year-old girl while her 6-year-old sister watched. Police later confirmed the latter. Rebelar Vera now charged with performing lewd acts on the child while she sat on top of him. I thought... Maybe he was just playing with her. I didn't see him kissing her or touching her inappropriately. We're not identifying the mother to protect the girl's identity, but she says she would have called police if she'd known her daughter was in danger. Are you a responsible mother? I try to be. Police questioned that. Instead reporting, she simply told Rebel Arvera and her three-year-old... Y'all stop that. She said that numerous times. Y'all stop that. You can't be that stupid. Not to even acknowledge that and then take her to the bedroom with him. About eight of us at that window watching. And why were you all able to see it, but she couldn't? Uh, you, you tell me. A police officer finally broke in and did stop it. Rebel Arvera exposed and pulling up his pants. He's a very sick individual. And they took him down to jail. I hope he rots in jail. Now, I did just speak to this mother and her neighbors a second time this evening. They say the two girls are back at home and no longer in DCF custody. We were unable to reach DCF to confirm that, but neighbors say they are shocked.